Okay, we want to find the center of mass of a lamina uh, bounded by the function y equals 12 minus 6x, and then the axes, the x and the y axes, so this little green region here. And so uh, we're going to use the center of mass formulas from the book, and so the first thing we need to do is find the bounds of our integration. So then we'll notice here that y will be 0 when x is 2, and so now we got the bounds of our integration. Now you notice in both cases, uh, both the top and the bottom involve the, uh, sorry, both the x and y center of mass involve the area of the region, which when multiplied by density would give the total mass. And so here, we're, let's start with that. The integral from 0 to 2 of our function will be, let's see, so we got 12x minus 6x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 2. So we got 12 times 2 minus, let's show that's 3x squared, so 3 times 2 squared minus, sticking in 0, we're going to get 0 and 0. And so it looks like we got 24 minus 4 squared times 3 is 12, so it looks like we got 12 as the uh, area of this region. And so now on the, for the x bar, we're going to need the integral from 0 to 2 of x times this function, right? So x times, uh, x times 12 minus 6x, or in other words, 12x, 12x minus 6x squared. So integrating that, we got uh, 12x squared over 2 minus 6x cubed over 3, or in other words, 6x squared minus 2x cubed evaluated from 0 to 2. So that's going to be 6 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 cubed. Sticking in 0, we're going to get zeros. So we got 6 times 4 is 24 minus 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16. And so it looks like we've got uh, 8 here as the uh, integral there. So putting that together, that tells me that x bar is going to be 8 over 12, or in other words, 2 thirds. Okay, so the x center of mass is going to be right about there. And so now we can do the same thing for the y center of mass. So for that, we're going to need to integrate from 0 to 2. We can pull the 1 half out of the integral, so we'll get it out of the way. Uh, the function squared, so we're going to have 12 minus 6x quantity squared dx. So here it's going to make, probably make the most sense just to, well, let's see, we could either do a substitution here or we can multiply it out. Just for the fun of it, let's do a substitution. So let's let u equal 12 minus 6x. The reason this substitution will work is because that uh, derivative is just a constant, 6dx, and so making this substitution, we get uh, integral of u squared times du over negative 6, right, solving this for dx, and now changing our limits of integration, when x is 0, u will be 12, when x is 2, u will be 0. Okay, so we're integrating negative 12 uh, from 12 to 0, u squared du. Integrating that, we got uh, negative 1 twelfth times u cubed over 3 from 12 to 0. Or in other words, negative 1 over 36 u cubed from 12 to 0. So evaluating that, sticking in 0, we're going to get 0. Sticking in 12, we're going to get negative 136 times 12 cubed, which is, uh, let's see, that comes out to be 48. Uh, so my y bar ends up being 48 over 12, or in other words, 4. So my center of mass ends up right about there.